Welcome back to today Rocket Science. I'm Adam Malkin. So how young is too young to get started in a STEM career? Well, one teen developer found a way to make an avocation into a thriving vocation. He's developed four iPhone apps and owns his own company. At 13, Jordan Casey is Apple's youngest app developer. I've been programming since I was nine, and so last year I got an iPhone uh, developer kit and I thought it'd be cool to sort of make apps for it. And so I made a game and then I was inspired by an entrepreneur to start a company around it. His apps are geared towards kids and even help other teens and tweens learn how to code. Part of the game is a level creator, so it allows kids to make their own levels from the game. I, I want to like see other people, kids do it too because it's the future and it, it, it's, a, it's another way to be creative and it's probably one of the greatest ways to be creative because you can do so much with it. You can create a book but you can also like create a story. He says it's important to start young. Start as young as possible but there's lots of um, sort of organizations and clubs out there and just watch boy books as well they're great and like watch videos on YouTube they're really helpful. So how does Jordan feel about being Apple's youngest app developer? I think of this is a head start, like I know it's what I want to do, so I wanted to start as early as possible. And like in 10 years, I'll be 23, and I'll already have 10 years experience of what it's like to work in the industry. And what's next for Jordan? He plans on developing more games and started a new company where he will create apps to help teachers manage their students. For It Ain't Rocket Science, I'm Anthony Pascal. In New York City, students are taking their first steps towards following in Jordan's footsteps and working on developing their own video games. It's no surprise that teens love to play video games, but these teens are taking their love for games to a whole new level. They spent the past six weeks learning the basics of programming, and some worked on coding their own games. I like having the ability to kind of create things from scratch. I love seeing the outcomes of you, what you did. Like in, basically in like pure HTML, well, you could write anything, and then seeing the outcome, it just makes you feel proud. The program is organized by Code Now, which aims to get young people educated and interested in coding and puts emphasis on reaching girls, minorities, and other groups that are underrepresented in the tech industry. During this fellowship, these students got first-hand experience on the daily lifestyle of a programmer. Each group of students designed their own game or website. This team designed a fantasy adventure game. We did a web-based choose-your-own-adventure game. And a choose your own adventure game is basically a game where you can, you have choices and in a cho like usually three choices and with those choices you kind of proceed through the story best as possible and try to survive to the ending. While this group of girls decided to create a website designed to give you content based on how you feel. We created this because we thought some people sometimes they're having like bad days and just things don't go well so we thought this would be like uh, a way to make someone happy. Code Now founder Ryan Seashore says this experience is really important for these young coders. Coding is a new literacy. Um, our world is controlled and powered by technology and so we're teaching students to look under the hood of technology and to become builders instead of being consumers. For young programmers, it's a chance to meet other people and learn from each other. Well, it's amazing because you get to, you see other people's strengths and weaknesses and then you like tend to like want to help them out and then they help you out too in a way. And in the process, helping each other to get a head start on a potential future career. For It Ain't Rocket Science, I'm Rochelle Boone. And all you young girls out there are getting a fun new tool designed to get you interested in computer coding. And it's a tool that comes from what may seem like an unlikely source, the Girl Scouts. When you think of the Girl Scouts, you likely think of these or these. Now, though, you may want to add these to that thought process. The Girl Scouts are teaming up with Dell to draw young girls into the world of computer coding through video games and a new initiative called Game On Girls and Technology. We realize although we're over 100 years old, we have to stay relevant for girls and families. And so, of course, Girls are using technology on a daily basis, and we want to ensure them that we're here to support them in that activity. For girls and boys, game applications are something they use every day. But for girls, we want them to understand there's a whole science behind it, technology, and even some engineering and some math. At the Game On website, girls jump in and create their own video games. 
featuring mostly girls as the lead characters, that game is then there for them to play or to share with others. I like that there's the it's the fact that you can make something out of, out of almost nothing and it teaches you how to code and put something together at such a young age. I've kind of always wanted to be an engineer, so now this is getting me more interested into it. Well, that does it for this episode of It Ain't Rocket Science. Remember, to find out more about science, technology, engineering, and math opportunities in your community, head over to www.connectamillionminds.com. Until next time, it's been a blast.